Hello everybody, one and all today we're going to start talking about how to set up Next.js with Tailwind and TypeScript. And why we want to do that? Well, it's kind of my go-to solution whenever I want to set up a new product. Next.js, Tailwind, TypeScript is the way to go, in my opinion. The first thing we want to do is to install our Next app and we're going to use npx create next app or yarn create space next app. And there we go, and that's going to install everything. It's going to ask for what project name we want. We're going to call it Next Starter, and that's going to create the project inside the folder called Next Starter. And then we want to go into that folder, so CD Next Starter, and then we're going to do touch tsconfig.json, and that's going to tell the project that we want to use TypeScript. And then we use yarn dev, it's going to detect the touch config, and it's going to give us the files to install. So we're going to copy paste that. And let's copy them in and it's going to install everything. And we can restart the yarn dev, it's going to detect the uh, touch config and set everything up with the TS config file for us. And then we can see everything's working fine. Now we want to install Tailwind, so we're going to do yarn install Tailwind CSS at latest, post CSS at latest, and auto prefixer at latest. And let's install that. Next, we want to set up Tailwind, so we're going to do yarn Tailwind init minus p. There we go and this is also going to set up the config now we want to go into our product go into the styles the globals clean everything up and put tailwind base tailwind components and tailwind utilities in there then we're going to restart and then we're going to start editing our index.js and see what we can change we can change the text size the text color the text weight and let's see how that goes Nice. Okay, there we go. If you found this video useful, if you had fun, please feel free to like the video or to subscribe. Thanks. See you soon.